Good morning. This is NPR Illinois. It's 843. I'm Sean Crawford. Archer Daniels Midland. Is I get here around 430 or so in the morning. The first thing I try to do is make sure I, everything is working okay. Uh, secondly is try to go through uh, different sources of news, not just ours, but you know, of course what we have produced, make sure I'm up to speed on that. But look around and see if you know a newspaper is reporting something around the state that we need to have some coverage on. If I need to make a call to somebody, I can do that. Really just trying to you know, catch up on what has happened since I went to bed the night before, and that way when people are waking up and tuning into the news, they also hopefully We'll find out what's taken place. This is NPR Illinois. I'm Sean Crawford. It's 820. Authorities say an Illinois state trooper shot and wounded two men on Chicago. We are South able to produce South local South news South and put in there South local South weather, South other announcements that people need to know. Uh, but really the thing that I think is selling the show for most people is, is hearing some of the national coverage and also international coverage. If there's breaking news from around the world and you're just waking up, NPR is going to have coverage of that. And I think that's what people have, have grown to count on uh, with Morning Edition. I think what helped me probably through the years has been I started out DJing more than I was doing news and as a DJ you had to talk over the intro to the record and you just had to have a little clock in your head to know it was time to be quiet and know when it was time to talk and I need to give people enough information on a story but I may not be able to give them the entire story uh, every single time so I have to do it in a way that that works for both working with the clock and also working with the listener. Stay with us for more of Morning Edition. We'll introduce you to the first African American. The Morning Edition shift I've been doing since early this year. Um, our Morning Edition host, Bill Wheelhouse, retired. So I've been doing it since then. Some stations have more than one person working with Morning Edition especially. Uh, we don't, and part of that has just been that Financially, it's just not that feasible for us to do it. We've been lucky that we've had people that, that can do it pretty well by themselves. Um, the point of it, I think, is when you're by yourself sometimes, again, is to, uh, is to not let yourself get you know, too sidetracked with things because you, know, you, don't, you don't lay your head down on the desk because you might not get up again. After morning edition ends, 9 o'clock, um, someone else takes over that shift and pretty much if there's something else that needs to be done we have news meetings um, and those happen a few days a week where we get all our reporters together and we sit down and we go through the different stories we're you know talking about or planning and what we need to be covering and then it's really starting to get prepared for the noon show Illinois edition uh, but we want to make sure that that's all put together and that we're doing what we need to get done for that so there's really not a lot of break there if I, I do eat my lunch typically a little bit earlier than most people. I'll sometimes eat lunch in the 9 o'clock hour if possible. Um, that's usually sort of how my schedule works. It's finish morning edition and start looking ahead to the next thing that's ahead of us.